Hi, Kathy Baby here with Divorce Support Anonymous. I want to speak to you specifically about a very important topic that you are facing, will be facing, going through the trauma of divorce, and that is our sexuality. I remember one woman after we discussed sex in one class came up to me and she said, Kathy, you know we're not listening to you, right? And I get that. I totally get that because I was there and I understand the rawness. And I also understand the sexual energy that goes on during this period of time. I don't know why it seems so intense for many people, but it is. Um, but I want to give you just um, a few things to think about, whether you're listening to me or not. I feel obligated to give you some warnings. First of all, the scriptures say to guard your heart because out of it, everything flows of life. So one way of guarding your heart is guarding your body as well. Realizing that you are raw right now and you are vulnerable. And there is in the very near future going to be this person who walks into your life and says all of the right things, adores you. When you come from a place who, where you were not adored, where you were not respected, they're going to think that you do everything right. And you just came from a relationship where you thought, they thought you did everything wrong. So you are going to be attracted to that individual. But if you take a step back, which here's the hard part, and look at the big picture and realize that you are not ready. And this individual who's saying all the right things may not be safe emotionally, spiritually, and even physically. So spend this period of time working on your own healing first before you even consider getting into the next relationship. I've heard a lot of stories going through this. Many people regret the sexual mistakes that they have made because they were so vulnerable and they were so hurting. Using this time wisely and listening to the value that God says you have can help you to heal, to be strong, so that when someone comes up and says all of the right words, you're going to know, is this flattery or is this authentic? And that's the point to where, that we need to get to so that we can see through the flattery, we can read the red flags and we can step back and say, that is not for me. Sexuality is a, a stress, a, um, we don't know what to do with the sexual energy. I remember one woman who said, you know, I started running. I knew that I needed something physical to keep my mind off of this need for sex. I would encourage you to do the same. I know it's not the same, but it can help you refocus and it can help you work on your own healing first, before you're even ready to venture into that next relationship.